Hi guys, you're back with Coach Marissa from Ultimate MMA Plus. Today I'm going to show you guys five exercises you can do with a weighted plate for your lower body. Okay, so we're going to go through a variation. Um, you're going to grab a weight that is comfortable to you. You can start lighter. Uh, the plates vary, you know, 10, 25, 45. Start lighter, see how you feel. Your legs are strong, um, but you definitely want to be nice and warmed up before lifting too heavy. So first one we're gonna do is a front squat. So I'm gonna show you guys from a few different angles. You're just grabbing the plate right on the sides. My feet are spread out about hip width. I'm gonna be holding this semi offset in front of me. It's not resting, okay? So core nice and tight. I'm gonna sit my hips back, chest upright. Make sure your knees are right in line with those toes. Good posture here. Sit all the way back and then stand all the way up forward. So again, this is gonna be our front squat. So my feet are spread out about hip width. I'm sitting my hips back. All the way back down, stand all the way back up, nice and tall. Sit back, all the way back up, nice and tall. Okay, we're going for about 12 to 15 repetitions. So you guys, again, pick a weight that you can do for 12 to 15 repetitions. Next one we're gonna do is a deadlift. So I'm gonna turn and grab this plate so my thumbs are down. When you guys do a deadlift, now I'm gonna keep my hips up. I'm not dropping my hips down. I'm gonna have a tiny bend in my knees. Now I'm hinging at my hips. My toes can be a little bit more straightforward, still about hip width. Okay, so now I'm going to look down the whole time. Again, like I mentioned, tiny bend in your knees. You're hinging at your hips. I'm going to keep this weight very close to me. Come down to about mid-shin because the plate is a little bit larger. Might be about ankle height with the actual bottom of the plate. And then let your hamstrings pull you back up. Okay, so now we're working our hamstrings. So again, looking down, hinge at my hips. Keep this weight very close to me. Then stand all the way back up nice and tall. So you're going to squeeze your butt and tuck your ribs down. Okay, that's a big one. Don't lean back. Also, make sure that core is activated. So tiny bend in your knee. Keep the weight very close to you, especially if, you're got, if you have heavier weight. Come down about mid-shin. Let your hamstrings pull you all the way back up. Okay, so again, keep the weight very close to you. You want to keep that lower back safe. The next one we're going to do is an alternating reverse lunge. So I'm going to hold it back normal. Just like we did for our squat. I'm going to start together. I'm going to step back behind myself. Good posture here. Let my back knee bend. Come back together. Good posture. Let your back knee bend. Come back together. Okay, so you can alternate. Or if you want to stay on one side for an even amount of repetitions, you're welcome to do that. But good posture. Step back. Hover slightly over the ground. You don't, have to, you don't want to smash on the ground with that knee, but you do want to make sure you get good range of motion, stand all the way back up, and then come back together. That's our alternating reverse lunge. Next one we're going to do is on the ground, we're going to do a bridge, okay? So we're going to work those hamstrings again. I'm going to keep this plate held right about at my hips. My toes are straight forward for my bridge, my legs are bent. I'm going to hold this here so it does not slide up, and I'm just going to tuck my ribs down, squeeze from my butt to lift my hips up. So again, make sure that rib cage is down, core nice and tight, squeeze from your butt, maintain that position, come back down, core nice and tight, hips up, squeezing from your butt, hold it a second or two, then come back down. The last one we're going to do is a good morning. So again, we're working our posterior chain with this one. We're going to put this weight on our back, okay, I'm going to grab just like this on the top of the plate. This is on my upper back. Same as that deadlift position where we have a tiny bend in our knee, we hinge at our hips, okay? But now this is a good morning, mainly focusing on that lower back. So I'm holding the plate here. I'm gonna hinge down and then again, squeeze my butt, tuck my ribs down, stand up nice and tall. So now we're doing our good morning, but with this weighted plate. Just like this, stand all the way up. So if you have any lower back issues, you know, definitely, definitely always talk to a doctor before you guys do anything, but start light. Just start light. The higher repetitions, it'll slowly build up that strength. Don't try to go with big weight, you know, and risk irritating yourself even more. So we're going to go through this one more time. Our first one is our front squat. So again, I'm holding just normal right outside. My feet are spread out a little bit wider than hip width. Make sure your toes and knees are in line when you sit back. You're dropping those hips back. Core nice and tight, chest upright, sit back, stand all the way up at the top. So from the side, our front squat, okay? So this is loading us forward. 
and we're not going to let us let it pull us any other way. So we're going to keep that core nice and tight. So first one is our front squat. Then we had our, our deadlift. So I'm going to turn. So my thumb is down for this. I'm keeping my hips high. A little tiny bend in my knees. My feet are spread out. Toes can be pretty forward. I'm just hinging at my hips. Tiny bend in those knees. Let your hamstrings pull you all the way back up. Tuck those ribs down. Squeeze your butt. Okay, so come down again. The plate is going to hover slightly right above your ankles. You're coming down to mid shin with your hands. And then stand all the way back up. In between, make sure that back is flat. You're looking down. And those hamstrings are what is pulling you up. So your hips stay high for that deadlift. Next one, we're turning our hands back over so we can comfortably hold this. Stepping back for our alternating lunge. So step back, let that back knee bend, come back together. Again, if you're on a soft surface, you can tap down light, but you don't want to smash down on that knee. So slightly above the ground is perfectly fine. Let that knee bend, good posture, come back together. After that, we're going on the ground for our bridge. We're holding the weight there with our hands. My toes are forward. So I'll show you just from here. My feet are spread out just about hip width. Make sure your toes are forward. Okay, we're keeping our hands here. We're going to tuck our ribs down. We're going to squeeze from our butt. Maintain that weight. And then come back down. So ribs down. Squeeze. Hold for a second or two. Then come back down. So these are our floor bridges with our weighted plate. The last one is our good morning. Okay, so again, we're going to place this on our back. We're holding just with our fingertips the grip. Okay, obviously the heavier you have, it's going to challenge that grip strength as well. It's on our upper back. Same as that deadlift position. I'm going to keep my hips high, tiny bend in my knees. I'm using my lower back to get me here. So hinge, straighten all the way up, ribs down, squeeze your butt at the top. Core nice and tight. Make sure your back stays in that good position to keep it safe. So that is our good morning with the weighted plate. So all of our exercises, we're aiming for about 12 to 15 reps, one to three sets if we can. Okay, you guys start lighter, see how you feel. And if it feels easy to you, you can go a little bit heavier. Okay, these plates all vary in sizes. So hopefully you guys like this. Again, five exercises for your lower body. If you did, give me a thumbs up so I know. If you guys have any questions, leave me a comment. The full workout will be in the description below, so you'll be able to take a look at that. But if you guys never want to miss another workout, definitely make sure to subscribe to our channel, Ultimate MMA Plus. See you guys next time.